Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going through, I'm going to show you an overview of hybrid inbounds and outbound communications. So you have to understand how the communication works before you continue or set up your first hybrid configuration in your environment. So now let's take a look at this diagram. Imagine this is your on-prem environment, and it's all depend on your um, Exchange Server versions. If you have Exchange 2010, you probably have three um, three server roles: mailbox, client access, and hub transport. And again, it's all depend on your um, security. Sometimes you probably have an edge transport server which is sitting in a DMZ. Edge transport server is not required, but if your organization requires to have one, and then you just have to install one on the DMZ network. If you don't have an edge transport server, your hub transport on-prems will go directly to the internet, and client access will directly go to the internet. So like I said, um, there's three mailbox role. And if you have Exchange 2016 and you have a powerful server, you probably have just one server with three roles installed. And um, so this is how it should work. Your existing environment, you should have all discovery is working. Mail flow is working and free busy features is working. All right, let's go ahead and go to the next slide. As you can see here, Hub Transport role is communicating with the Exchange Online Server. There's Office 365, there's Exchange Mailbox Server, and there's uh, client access server. So your hub transport communicate through port 25 to Exchange Online. So port 25 must be open for the communications. And hub transport uh, server require a third party certificate. You must have or you must use third party certificate for the communication that uses TLS communication through port 25. All right, let's go into the next slide. Client access server is commun communicate directly to client access server on Exchange Online over TTPS port 443 and port, two, um, port 80. It's outbound only. And client access servers must have auto discover and EWS must be enabled. It's, it's a bi directional communication. Let's go into the next slide. So there's a new hybrid age, there's a new hybrid method. It's called modern hybrid. The previous screen is the classic hybrid. The modern hybrid, it uses an agent. So an agent is installed on a server. The agent can be installed on a client access server, if you have a powerful client access server, or it can install on a separate server. And the agent, it's, it's only outbound communications. So this server is used for HTTPS communications. It uses for auto discover. It uses the free BC, free BC features and also the migration. So the hybrid agent register a custom URL for the tenant. And then the URL is then used by org relationship and the inter-org connector in the mailbox replication service. 
then routes request from tenant to an on-prem using this URL. That URL is only accessible from Exchange Online. So there's a drawback um, when using the hybrid agent. It's currently is not supported by Microsoft. And there's a couple other um, drawbacks. I couldn't think it off my head. Um, something about Teams. So with this hybrid agent, you don't really have to open uh, ports from client access server. So before you start your DM, uh, your um, hybrid configuration setup, you need to make a decision. Either you want to go to a classic hybrid or you want to do modern hybrid. When you choose classic hybrid, there's no turning back. So just say if you if you have if you chose classic hybrid and you <clears throat> and a few months later you want to change to hybrid uh, to modern hybrid, there's no way to do that. With the with the modern hybrid agent, you can install the agent on a couple of servers for um, for um, uh, what do you call it? Um, You can install it on a multiple servers. For high availability. Yes, yeah, so you can um, have multiple hybrid agent on multiple servers for high availability. So this is just the basic of um, hybrid inbound and outbound communications either using the modern hybrid agent server or using the classic hybrid configuration. That's all I have in this video. If you have any questions, please uh, put it in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. My channel will cover Office 365, Azure, SCCM, and Windows 10 deployment. Thank you for watching and have a great day.